In a time when distance learning can be anything but inspiring, there is a teacher helping students in a way few could imagine. That's because she's been doing some of her teaching from a hospital room. And as Carol Evans Boyd Hooper reports, among the lessons is something everyone can learn from. School in a classroom. I have 14 now in the waiting rooms. Teacher in a box. It's fine, I did pop on. And 21 kindergartners are where their online experience is also defined. Hey, Mrs. Klein. By what's beyond the screen. You're at the doctor's house. Of Kelly Klein. I am at the doctor's house. You're right. The doctor's house is five-year-old speak for Lakes Medical Center, Wyoming, Minnesota. Hello. Hello. Where this morning, the kindergarten class from Falcon Heights Elementary has accompanied their teacher to chemotherapy. Woo woo. Go, Raina. Go, Raina. They're helping me be strong because it's real easy to um, go down the why me. Kelly has every right to go down that road. A 32-year teacher at the same school she attended, a wife and mom who first battled ovarian cancer five years ago, then went back to her life until cancer found Kelly again. She had a really bad feeling that something might be up. Something cruelly confirmed on the fifth anniversary of Kelly's last chemo treatment. Now that it's returned, it's not curable, it's terminal. So what to do next? Uno, dos, trace. Show your board. She is my inspiration every day. Beth Benke, school principal, knows most in Kelly's shoes, would take a leave. Take a look at your recording sheet. But Kelly came to me and said, Please don't make me. I said, absolutely not. Let's figure it out together. Parents were notified their children would see nurses coming and going. It's amazing to watch it. Cliff, did you have a different idea? Opening doors for discussion. I think it might turn yellow a little bit. Between Cliff Fergus and his parents. He has cancer. She has cancer. And so what are they what are they giving her when she's there? Um, treatment. Treatment? What is that like some kind of medicine? Yeah. Congratulations, lucky duck. The chemo won't cure Kelly. The aim to slow her cancer down. The last time around I had a posse of friends that went with me to chemo every week. And with COVID, I can't have that. So what better way to spend four or five hours than with five year olds? Your new posse. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Kelly's hair and eyebrows are starting to thin. The gingerbread girl. A topic she'll soon be addressing with her class. I, I want them to see that cancer isn't a death sentence. Woo, woo, woo. You can still be happy and playful and silly and funny and energized. Abe, do you have something to share? It's a Lego Star Wars toy. Abe's mom, Sarah Durdowski. Couldn't have asked for a better teacher. Um, I can't imagine what she would do in person. <laughs> if she can do this from there. Ready scientists? You are looking good. I give them a lot of cheers. I'm their best cheerleader. Woohoo! So that they can, they, they can know that they can do anything in this world. Maybe they'll invent a cure for cancer. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And they'll think of you when they do. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Wowie, wow, wow, scientists. Kelly Klein. That was so smart. Teaching while she teaches. All right, I'll Bye, see you in... Boyd Hubert, Carol Evan News, Wyoming. Bye-bye. Kelly Klein's daughter has started a GoFundMe page to help pay for her mom's treatment and for ovarian cancer research. You'll find the information at care11.com. And I just have to say, my sister's kids had Mrs. Klein. Really? And so my sister emailed me a story. Each child had a story about Mrs. Klein and how she impacted their lives. And she was that teacher. You know, whenever you get asked about the teacher? Yeah. Not surprisingly, my sister's kids. Sight I, Mrs. We can Klein. see why tonight. Wow. So, so she's been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my nieces and nephew are grown. <laughs> wow.
phenomenal lady. That's just an amazing story. I mean, my gosh, Chad Nelson, what a great job of putting that together, really making us feel like she feels every day with those kids and what a what an inspiration. Oh my goodness.